as the Zimbabwean government announces plans to construct a smart prison in Gwanda. Skepticism mounts over President Umingagwa's track record in delivering on promises tagged with the term smart. The proposed facility aims to accommodate 1,300 prisoners, addressing congestion issues and aligning with international standards for modern correctional services. Deputy Minister Nobut Mazungini from the Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Ministry outlined the government's vision during a recent tour of the Zimbabwe Prisons and Correctional Service CPCS facility in Gwanda. The initiative is part of broader efforts to modernize prisons, many of which operate with infrastructure dating back to the early 1900s. Despite the government's commitment to allocate funds for the project in the 2024 budget, questions linger about the feasibility of turning promises into reality. This skepticism is fueled by a history of unfulfilled commitments associated with the term SMART in the context of President Umingagwa's initiatives. Deputy Minister Mazungini emphasized the rehabilitative aspect of the SMART prison concept, aligning with international standards and management trends. The Gwanda project is slated to commence this year, with plans to replicate the SMART prison model in other districts and provinces. Critics argue that the government's promises of modernization may be overshadowed by past instances where ambitious plans failed to materialize. The community remains cautious, particularly given the significant gap between promises and actual implementation. As the government seeks to improve inmate welfare, Deputy Minister Mazungini highlighted the importance of humane treatment, recognizing prisoners as human beings. The government's commitment to addressing challenges such as overcrowding and staff accommodation, is echoed, yet doubts persist about the execution of these plans. The Deputy Minister's familiarization tour of correctional facilities aims to assess challenges in Matabili Land South, Matabili Land North, Bulawayo Metropolitan Province, and then Tabazin Dina Training School. However, the skepticism remains, particularly as the term, smart, is associated with initiatives that have, in the past, fallen short of expectations. Concerns about drug abuse within prison officers at another layer of skepticism. Prompting calls for maintaining integrity and discipline within the Zimbabwe prisons and correctional service. As President Umingagwa's administration unfolds its vision for a smart prison in Gwanda, the community watches with a critical eye, questioning whether this promise will join the ranks of unrealized, smart endeavors.